Hello, everybody. Here we are today. We going I've give up on my bearings and my seals that I ordered off the internet. So uh, I got this stuff sitting up here, and uh, I've got to make a trip. So I figured, well, I've got to make a trip down toward G Town, Gastonia. So. Uh, there's a barren place down there I do business with, so uh, I'm gonna punch these seals out of there and uh, we're gonna get in the truck, ride down there. I'm trying to just be gentle on the seal because I don't wanna, don't wanna mess it up. It's not any good, but if you get them out whole without bending them up so bad, it's a lot easier for them to measure. See, it just kind of like crumpled off there. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, it literally like a chunk of it just broke off right there. That's the spring. So the crate seals was definitely, 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 definitely not good. I don't know, but I think there's two seals here. Pretty sure there's two seals in this thing. And I actually found part of the reason why this thing was giving so much trouble. I think I showed y'all, but y'all can see right there. The wire skint. Somebody had worked on the points and they got them in the wrong place. But never mind. No, never mind to us. We're gonna peel this out of here oh, the points is in the way we don't want uh, all that stuff in the way while I'm trying to knock it seal out y'all can't see what I'm just taking the screw out there's still a little bit of dirt back in there. Now that's the that's the felt isolator for the uh, points condenser. I'll try to tap this thing out of here. I'll try tapping it gently. Yeah, that's what we don't want it to do. I want to stop through there. Let's see if I can find something a little more, a little more blunt. Smarring it up a bit. I don't want to do that. Put socket in there and knock it out. I don't want, like I say, it's a lot easier to measure it if it ain't messed up. And the less messed up it is, the better. So y'all know how it goes. You never have the one you're looking for. Pull that felt out of there because we're not using points. Let me see if I got a socket over here. It's about the right size. Let's see if this will knock it out where y'all can see it. Yeah, we're going to use a little bigger hammer. Aha! Uh -huh. That's what we wanted right there. That seal right there is actually still pliable. But we're going to try to replace everything we can while, whilst we've got it out. I 
while we're up. Well, today is a cold, rainy day, so uh, I'm fixing to uh, get in the truck. We're going to head toward Gastonia. I might film a little bit of that. So uh, I'm bringing you back. That's right. Well, we're getting over the truck. We're going to run down to Gastonia and see if we can pick up some fire and stuff. It's a wet, rainy day. It's chilly. It ain't cold. It's chilly. Here you go. These are the kind of days that I enjoy the most. Don't ask me why. I just like it. So, we're going to go tooling down the road. Uh, we probably got 40 minutes or so before we get to where we're going. So, uh, I'm not really going to do no whole bunch of filming while we're going down the road because it looks like the, the camera's fogging up anyway. So, uh, well, you see what's going on. It gets warm and stuff in here. I hit 321. I might film a little bit riding down 321 towards the gas tunnel. So, uh, I'll bring y'all back here just a little bit. I won't bore you to death. Here we go. There we are. We're headed down 321 now. It's still raining. Still cold. I don't think y'all can see out the window very well. I'm going to turn the camera around. I'm just going to give you a shot going down the, well, I call it interstate, but basically it's highway. I mean, it does run into another state, but it's not, I don't think it's technically listed as a as an interstate. But uh, we're getting close to Langton. We actually could have went back around that way. I didn't. I come this way. Because I could just hit the highway this way. Sickle slushy. I've had one a long time. Mmm. Well, we fixed the pool in the barren place. Waiting on a light to change. There it goes, finally. Let's see if I can turn you around here. <coughs> the QT's just up the road from the barren place. So I figured. Why not swing in the, in the uh, QT and uh, get us a, a slushy, and then we'll come right over here, pull up in here to the barren place, and see if we can go get some barons and stuff for Buck and Saw. So uh, here we are, BBI, which is Barrett and Brown Incorporated in Gastonia. I'm going to see if I can find some barns. We'll be back directly. All right, now we're back. All right, we made it to the barn place. We got some barns, got some seals. Uh, these seals is the closest thing we could get. They're rubber clad instead of steel. So we are going to put a little bit of sealer on them as we drive them in. That way, uh, They'll have a little extra holding power to hold them in there. 
I usually don't tell people to put sealer on their seals when they put them in, but on these we're going to because, well, like I said, I'm just going to put just a, a little dab around the hole because there's a little bit of discoloration and stuff in this magnesium and it's old and it's got a little, I don't know, it's just, it, it's going to get some sealer, that's all I, that's all I can say. Just gonna smear a little bit right around the inside of the hole. Just a just a small amount, it ain't gotta be a whole lot. But I wanna go ahead and put it in here that way it can dry. That way if there's problems with it, you got to be careful putting sealer on seals. Because sometimes you put it on there and drive it in the hole and it'll walk itself back out. So I'm just gonna a little bit on the outside here, what I got left on the fire. We're going to put it in the hole. I'm going to take this air socket. We're just going to tap him down in there. It doesn't take no hole bunch. Especially with that sealer on there, it don't take a whole lot. I don't really like these rubber clad seals as much as I do the, the metal ones. I'm going to take it down. So a little bit more on that side. Some of this old pity magnesium, it can have little pits in it and stuff and it'll leak. So we're going to put some of this on there to make sure it don't. I swear the inside of that hole looks crooked. Try and get this video out today, y'all. How far are we along already? I don't know exactly how long the video is, but here's the new burns. These are supposed to be some real nice burns. I told her I wanted the best ones. They've been sitting for a while. They've been on the shelf for a while. They got like some shellac on them or something. Stuff down in the burn on this one, it's kind of stuck. There it goes. It's got like a shellac down in the burn, some type of sealer. There we go. Yeah, that's better. There we go. That's what we got. Slick and smooth. Do. We're not going to put the burns and stuff on right now because I'm, I'm going to press them on and then we'll pop it in there maybe tomorrow. Let's see if this seal right here will fit. This one looks a little bit better. I'm not going to put a sealer on this one. This one fits a little bit tighter than that other one, so we'll just drive this one in there. Where did my socket go? Where'd you go, socket? Where's my socket? There it is. Why didn't y'all tell me it was laying there? I know y'all seen it.
mower. Cause there's a little bit of extra room in there. This is more like a crank seal for a motorcycle. Closest thing it had. That's what we wanted right there. Shadows play tricks on you when you're putting seals in. <laughs> All right. Well, there's what we're doing today. We had a nice trip and everything down there and picked up some seals and uh, 1735 by 7SC. That's one side. 1730 by 6 TC. The barns are in a fire 203Ks. She said these were the good barns, so that, that was the best ones that they had, so I got those. Alright. Well uh we're gonna uh, we're gonna call that for the end of the day. And uh I'm gonna see if I can finish doing some of these things I got to do and clean up. And I might even do a little more filming this evening, but you'll see some more later. Y'all have a good day. Bell Hopper out.